Thoracic injuries from blunt and penetrating chest trauma are common and can be life-threatening as the chest contains vital cardiopulmonary structures. Trauma evaluation begins with the ABCs, but because of their impact on cardiopulmonary function, thoracic injuries often require early intervention, including tube thoracostomy, early OR, or even potential resuscitative thoracotomy. Penetrating and blunt thoracic injuries can result in hemothorax or pneumothorax. A hemothorax that drains more than 1,500 cc's upon tube placement, greater than 200 cc's per hour for four hours, has an ongoing transfusion need, or hemodynamic instability requires operative exploration. If there is incomplete evacuation of a hemothorax seen on subsequent imaging, the preferred management is a VATS washout. Pneumothoraces are characterized as simple, open, or tension. Air enters the thoracic cavity either from a hole in the lung or from the outside. The space between the visceral and parietal pleura fills with air and the lung collapses, abolishing the normal transpulmonary pressure gradient. Tension pneumothorax occurs due to a ball and valve effect in which air enters but does not exit the thoracic cavity. Patients present with obstructive shock and associated hypotension, distended neck veins, tracheal deviation to the contralateral side, and absent breath sounds, and is treated with tube thoracostomy. Tracheobronchial tree injuries must be suspected in thoracic trauma when there is a large air leak after chest tube placement or extensive subcutaneous emphysema. Diagnosis should be made immediately with bronchoscopy and a definitive airway secured. For injuries to the proximal trachea, a low collar incision can be made. For distal trachea or right main stem injuries, a right posterior lateral thoracotomy is performed. Left main stem injuries can be accessed via a left thoracotomy. Tracheal injury should be repaired with interrupted absorbable sutures and covered with a flap, either an intercostal or strap muscle. A high level of suspicion for diaphragmatic injuries is needed in thoracoabdominal trauma, particularly penetrating trauma between the nipple line superiorly and the costal margin inferiorly. Radiographic imaging can miss injuries in up to 30% of patients, and injuries should be suspected with findings such as an elevated hemidiaphragm or herniation of intraabdominal contents. The gold standard for diagnosis and treatment is laparoscopy or inspection at the time of laparotomy. Preferred treatment is transabdominally within one week or thoracoscopically if delayed.